the classic game room video game review show is coming to DVD. Here's a behind the scenes look. We may not be X-Men, but damn, we kick ass. Look at this packaging. I mean, this is a peripheral, ladies and gentlemen. It's beautiful. It's black. It's a, uh, you know, it looks real. And then, you know, you even got the, uh, you know, the bipod. That and it's wireless. You can hide from the cursor, but you can't hide from the ion cannon blasts coming from beneath the energy field. No, that you cannot. Okay. Th there's nothing you can do from an ion blast, you I know. And here's Mary Jane talking out her differences with her yes. opponent. So after my expectations of this game actually sucking major ass, it doesn't. <laughs> I was originally editing Game Room on this setup, but uh, with the HD TV and the dual monitors, we didn't feel that it had quite the power that we needed though. So we just recently got a new editing system to complete the Game Room documentary. I'll show it to you. This is the new editing system that we're going to be editing classic Game Room, the rise and fall of the internet's greatest video game review show on the Tektronix 4010-1. We were thinking about installing Windows Vista, but we actually couldn't figure out how to get the computer online. I'll be completing the game room editing using Logo. Go to 10, turn left, repeat. I don't even think this has a five and a quarter inch floppy drive, which in some respects is a plus because it reduces the chances of getting any computer viruses. Who would possibly want to use a mouse when you could use these things? I, mean, I don't think it has any speakers either. It does have wheels. Uh, might be able to get this online if we, uh, oh, what's that do? Oh, there we go. Hey! One hundred and ten baud. That's what we're going with. This thing's got a freaking amplifier on the back of it. What the hell does that button do? broke the brake button. Now, what, what does this uh, game teach you, Mark? Well, this game teaches everybody, especially children, that if you don't cross the road really, really fast and in a strategic manner, that you will most likely be horribly, horribly mutilated and killed. And your parents won't love you anymore. It's very influential about how people now cross the street in rivers. <laughs> Please visit classicgameroom.net and markbusterblog.blogspot.com for more information.